Today we're heading out to Harbor Island. It's got a nice little natural harbor in it where we can anchor Thor and social distance ourselves from the world. Just like to say hey to Brent or whoever is here from White Shoal Light. Uh, Papa's did an article about it if you want to check out our website, but uh, they have a really, really outstanding program going on there. So, well, hey guys, nice to see you here in Detour. We're at the State Boat Launch in Detour, Michigan on the St. Mary's River. There's the Drummond Island Ferry loading up to take another load of cars over to Drummond Island. We're going to head way over that way to a little place called Harbour Island. Then we're going to spend the night on this tiny but mighty Thor on this little watercraft set up camp right on top of her. We're going to see if we can see the comet Neowise up in the night sky. Hopefully it stays clear for that. We're going to see some unique sights along the way. Oh hey, you haven't subscribed yet? Why don't you go ahead and hit subscribe so you can get more of these wacky sagas that we do here on Restless Life. All right, V firm, let's go. So I call it the ship in the woods. It's the Lewis G. Harriman, originally the John Boardman. So it's summer cottage that these people uh, basically redid and uh, made it into a little summer cottage. They're still working on it. The Lewis G. Harriman, it uh, carried bulk cement from Alpena until about 1980. They bought it back in, I think, 2005. The Mark and Jill Vandermeulen, I believe is their name. They, uh, they own the place. They're talking maybe bed and breakfast, um, a lot of options, but uh, 5,000 square feet about 1800 square feet above and uh they bought it uh they bought the front end as scrap um i guess you could walk through the ship after it was scrapped after 1980 and uh and you can uh choose things you wanted to buy off it they, they bought the forward section and brought it over here on a uh barge from ontario i think it was and then rolled it off onto there on rubber mats with rollers on it 50 ton rollers so pretty cool eh all right, let's continue on. Detour is that way. Some kind of island crossing the shipping channel. Probably idle back a little bit. Woo! Just flying along. So we are just north of uh, Detour, which is over there. The uh, Drummond Island Ferry's uh, leaving. And uh, that's Pipe Island behind us. We kind of went north from the tour, skirted the shoreline to go see the ship in the woods. And there's an upbound freighter going up. It takes a, a freighter about nine hours to go from the tour point where the St. Mary's River starts from Lake, uh, from the tour passage to through the Sioux Locks to Lake Superior, from Lake Huron to Superior, and that's, uh, that's upbound. There's a, there's a lot of history along here. There's there's actually, even on the mainland, there's British encampments, but over there it is, is what was Fort Drummond. Of course, Mackinac, Fort Mackinac is way back that way. And then over there is Fort St. Joseph. Somewhere over in that area, I think, yeah, right over there is Fort St. Joseph, which is uh, was a British fort, it's in Canada, um, when they left uh, Fort Mackinac after well after the war of 1812. Um, kind of an interesting story. That's our destination. That's the harbor and Harbor Island. And it looks like there's a few sailboats or a sailboat, maybe a motorboat there. 
Looks like they're gonna uh, spend the night too. So I'm gonna muscle in there like a uh, like like a yacht should. So that anchorage where uh, I think we got what four boats. It's called Faults Harbor. It's an anchorage. It's just not the anchorage. It's uh, this spot on the map if you can see it. But it gets pretty shallow in here, supposedly, according to the chart, you know, four to five feet. So there is a lot of boats there. So we're gonna have a lot of company tonight. We're gonna have a little party, maybe. Here we are at the Harbor Island National Wildlife Refuge. You can do some deer hunting on here, hiking, swimming, picnicking. X country skiing, blah blah blah, snowshoeing, mushroom and fruit picking, no camping, no off road vehicles. But you can anchor in the harbor and hang out, so that's cool. Give these guys a little wave, be all nautical about it and stuff. So let's go see if we can find ourselves in Anchorage. Kind of like part of the Redneck Yacht Club or something. Yeah. Oh, get close to shore. So Harbor Island, I really don't know much about it. Uh, bought by the Forest Service in like 1980, maybe? I don't know of any uh, structure that's ever been on the island or settlement or it's been inhabited or if it is anything. I, I, it, there's just this void of information. See all the other yachts hanging out. It's my yachting friends. So yeah, we'll toss an anchor. These are the supplies for camping tonight. There we are, a little shade and cozy. We can close this up at night, but uh, we want a breeze blowing through it. So we'll just pop these open. So there we go. It's a terrible shelter. Huh. It's a little weak. I must say, but we'll work on it, get it figured out, tighten it up a little bit. So yeah, we're hanging with the uh, with the yachts because we're we're a yacht. It's pretty cozy in here. We got Mr. Jackass running all over the place with the little tender because he's cool. Yeah, nice little breeze blowing through. Oh man, so far no bugs. So that's cool. Um, yeah, no bugs at all. Sent a couple little satellite messages out. The tarp is way too big. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to get something a little more, a little smaller, probably something. So what we did here is we took the, uh, the gaff hook, we just extended it up, ran a ridge line back to the top of the, the tower, and then down to where the anchor is. We anchored off. Looks like the anchor's holding. We're still in the same spot. And then we ran a couple lines here on the side and we had to fold it under because it wasn't, uh, the tarp's too big. So you mark a uh, spot when you anchor, mark a spot on shore and uh, it doesn't look like it. We're still uh, where we're supposed to be. So the anchor is out there. I don't know, it's probably 10 foot of water and I probably have 70 feet out of a line with a chain on it. So seven to one is, uh, Pretty strong uh, road so uh, five to one is probably what you need in most moderate conditions and
It's Irish whiskey, but it'll have to do. So it is the uh, first drink, the share. First share drink goes to uh, the sea. A little bit of an offering. A little shot for the captain. Mm, it's very Irish. Bush Mills. It'll make your sunshine brighter. So here's the uh, galley in the uh, Zodiac Filler. Got all the kitchen utensils we need. Most important is the whiskey. Got the water. Got the dehydrated meals. I just, to this day, I don't know what people think about how wonderful they are. They're, they're not very good, whatever. So that's the, uh, that's the galley. And uh, I'm in the saloon here, complete with uh, ambiance lighting great view of all my neighbors the sun's going down it's getting a little chilly it's okay we have bedding here in the uh in the forward berth in the forward berth there there's the uh there's the pilot house with all the navigation equipment and things and then uh get the old day pack pantry and uh, some stuff back there You know, I was just thinking I gotta put my I gotta put the anchor light up so that you know one sailboat's got it up, but nobody else does. I gotta dig it out. I don't even know where it's at. And then hang it up there. Ah. It's all got for beer and tobacco. Press paint on my tin He's drinking gin far across the western ocean I must wander Well here's what the beauty looks like in the nighttime. I got an air mattress down there but I'm gonna use the seat cushions and life jacket. All my friends out there with their anchor lights on. Being very nautical this evening. Very nautical. So the winds died down to nothing. About 12.30, midnight, 30. So I imagine there's absolutely no way you can see it, because I can barely see it with the, the comets out there. But uh, I'm going to have to flash a picture that I take up on, on here for you. There it is. It's right there. Ha, you can't. Well, good morning. It's uh, just before 6. A little orange this morning. So maybe we should take warning. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, clouds are starting to move in. It was, uh, it was actually a pretty good night's sleep. I didn't use anything special for uh, sleeping. You have to elevate the legs over the, uh, the bench seat there at the console. Um, but that was okay. Um... Kind of restricted in movement, but you can you can move them legs around different positions, and uh, having those uh, legs elevated helps, I think. But otherwise, it is a B E A U to full morning. And the loons out. I like loons. Loons are cool. Got a nice mournful cry. It's uh, time to get some coffee. To anchor held. The winds have changed. The air is definitely much more unstable so i think that uh i think we got some weather coming Good. 
Well, we got the uh, most important stuff done, so we're underway. We'll get the rest of this stuff taken down and buttoned up on the way. Because we ate a lot of the harbor. Uh, all in all, it was, a, it was a good night. Um, the breeze was nice. It was cool. Hey, you haven't subscribed yet, have you? And you didn't like the video? What's the deal? Go ahead and do that. So we are just north of Detour. Took a stop at an old freighter that uh, is docked high in the water. Not sure, it's the John Sherwin. I'm not sure uh, what the plans are with this. I heard rumors of a some kind of project for entertainment purposes for this uh, old uh, freighter. So we're just gonna cruise around, take a look at it. kind of waiting at these uh these abandoned structures and items for somebody to lean over the side and say hey you kids get away from my freighter but it rarely happens 